Hey guys, it's Abby, and I just wanted to drop in real quick and share some ideas of things you guys might be able to do with your family this year to show your kids the true meaning of Christmas. So stick around and we'll talk about it. Every year, my husband's favorite thing to do is Operation Christmas Child, and he goes crazy for it. Usually, I can't keep him in a store longer than an hour to do grocery shopping, and then he's like, let's go home, you're done, right? No more stores. But this year, when we went out on our Sabbath, which I would love to do a video about our Sabbaths and how we do that, the things that we do on our Sabbaths, but that'll have to be another video. Hopefully soon I can get around to. But on our Sabbath this year, this week, we went out and we went to tons of stores he kept saying more and more stores he wanted to go to and he kept buying more and more stuff and he's like let me be let me be this is my favorite thing to do and it's just really cute and it just warms my heart and I love that my kids get to witness that too and we tell the kids to get a shoebox so if you haven't heard about Operation Christmas Child what it is is you just get a shoebox and our church orders shoeboxes um, that already have the design on them for Operation Christmas Child there you go. And you pick out an age range. It's our kids pick to do a box for somebody their own age. And they fill it with things like a little Lego box, balls, little animals. We found some at Menards this year for 99 cents. Oh, and Menards is like the best place to go or some kind of fleet store that already is decorated for Christmas because we were able to go there and look at the Christmas trees and all the decorations and make a whole event out of it. And it's so fun. We spend our whole day out as a family and we teach our kids the real meaning of Christmas is giving just like Christ gave to us. He gave unselfishly, right? He gave the best gift of all. He gave his life. He came to earth to give his life for us so that we could be with God. And we're just asking our kids to give gifts to other people to share God's love. And that is the beauty of this. And we get to talk about that over and over again as we fill these shoe boxes. So this year, the kids did really great. They put things in it that they would want. And sometimes they get to say, Mom, could this be on my Christmas list? And that's okay, but they know not to ask for anything on that day for themselves. Other ideas are, I have one of these. You can get this at Hobby Lobby, I've seen it. I'm not sure where else, but um, this one was actually broken. It has a chip in one of the corners. So I won't ever be like giving this one away, but it's perfect for me during the year. I like to put things like soap or toothbrushes. If I find a good deal, I can put them in the box and then on in the morning, of the day that we're going out, I lay things out on the table so that the kids can pick what toothbrush, pick what washcloth, whatever they need to go in their shoe boxes. And then we make a list of whatever else they're looking for during that day. Um, other ideas are we went to, um, what's it called? McDonald's. We, we don't go to McDonald's very often. My kids are Taco Bell fanatics, but we went to McDonald's. We had a coupon or something, so they got a Happy Meal. So I offered, well, you can have the toy or when we get home, you can put the toy in the box for Operation Christmas Child and you can have a piece of candy. So we had some of those little stuffy toys to pick from as well. Uh, and then of course, my husband, when he finds good deals, even when we're out shopping like this, we do not need this many crayons for our boxes. Mm -mm. But earlier in the day, we had paid like 99 cents for a box of crayons. So when he saw these for 50 cents, he was like, that's such a good deal. And he bought this whole thing and a ton of coloring books and tons of other stuff. This whole bag is full of stuff that, that didn't fit in our boxes, but we're taking them over to the church and we're gonna have a church packing party too. get together with friends that also got extra items and go ahead and fill a whole bunch more shoe boxes too. And it is so much fun. If you live near where there is a warehouse for, that does packing, you should totally sign up and do one of those events. We loved doing it when it was here in Minneapolis, but they moved it to Chicago and that's a bit far for us to go now. So we're not able to do that, but we do this at our church with our church family and it is so much fun. Other ideas, if like packing a shoebox isn't your thing, Oh, here are like what they look like for the age ranges that you can do, but they also need a $9 donation for every box that they send out to help pay for the shipping. And it's recommended that if you're putting a shoe box together, you donate that $9. 
for our family, we did six boxes. So that's almost 60 bucks. So we're really thankful for other people, even in our church, that just give money for the shipping part of it. And that makes it possible for us to do this with our kids and teach them the value of Christmas and not have to worry about some of those extra charges too. So if you are able to give that way, you can go on their website. I'll try to drop a link here-ish maybe um, so that you can go over to their website. You can also check out other gifts you can give like chickens and goats and horses. There are so many things that you can buy a well for a, a city or a town um, is one of the options. And that's what my dad asked for as a Christmas present this year. He just wants people to fill shoe boxes in his name or to buy chickens for a family to be self-sustaining. And I just think that that is such a cool idea too. And it just continually shows your kids that the idea of like, this isn't about us and we're supposed to give and to share the love of God with others. So this is a great ministry, an opportunity, way to do it. Make a day of it. Make it so fun. We ended up going to Cold Stone too and getting ice cream, um, eating out, and then coming home and packing our boxes. Now we're taking them over to the church and we're going to stack them all up like a big Christmas tree in the front of our church. And I just love that my church family is totally into this and we will have so many by the time the date comes. Date! that you have to have them in by. So I hope this was an encouraging video for you. It's an idea of things to do with your family this Christmas season. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below and I'll try to get around to answering those or somebody else can help you too. Um, if you would like to see maybe next year what things we put inside our box. Oh, I wanna show you one thing, one thing. Oh yeah, I set them apart separate so I could show you. My kids had this cute idea when we were in Hobby Lobby to get these little Christmas trees because maybe the kids that these are going to have never seen, I dropped it, have never seen a Christmas tree before. And so now they can have this little Christmas tree to just know what is part of our tradition. And I thought that was a really great idea too. Anyways, if you have other great ideas or things that your kids have done, drop a link below and we would love to see that. Otherwise, would you like, subscribe, share these videos? Um, I really just wanna do content that helps families and Christian families have ideas of um, how to serve Christ together and hopefully we can help you with that and uh, our spiritual growth as parents even too. So thanks for watching. I gotta finish up my taco meat and get over to church, but have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.